Awo Shalom Rastafari. We want to speak briefly on a very important subject matter, seeing the times that we're in. Yeah, this is a good tune, another good tune. Leaving Babylon. But Babylon is Babylon is a mystery. And if we don't understand that it's a spiritual mystery and what Babylon is then you might leave one location and go to another location like in this present time if I want to know well what is the end time plan and that yes I'm still on I think it's 83 Leaf he made a statement or he or she but he made a statement which was interesting because it pointed out a lot of different aspects what is our end time plan what is the Rastafari movement the Lion Jew Society I and I what are we some think that this is just talk it's not talk, it's teaching, it's instructions, because what one has to, has to recognize is the holy place is not a so-called just a temporal space, you know what I mean? And many think it's about going here or there, and Christ already said he's not in some secret place out in the wilderness and so forth and so on. Unless you recognize that the kingdom of heaven is within, how to access it and how to build on that foundation, all the other things are basically useless. But what was in our minds was the teaching of His Majesty and, and one of His utterances. And we look for it, but it's not in the usual set of utterances, or at least we don't perhaps remember it exactly the way that it's been translated. Some of you might know this particular um, statement um, where His Majesty says that um, unless one subordinates themselves, one must subordinate themselves to the achievement of their of of the goal. You understand? Either he was speaking about leadership. Um, I think he was speaking about leadership, but basically the that what 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 we have to do is to subordinate ourselves. For example, people may think that we personally like to do these videos because we like to hear ourselves speak or we like to see ourselves on videos and not really. If we can stay in the background and if others were willing to step forward with the truth, you know, based on the truth, you know, based on the teaching of His Majesty, then we would be happy to, in other words, follow. His Majesty that a good leader must also be a good follower. We must learn to both lead, but we must be educated and prepared and have, have wherewithal to lead. So, in speaking about the end time plan, and we want to say a brief word on that, and the particular quote and the particular speech, if ones know the speech I'm speaking about, not the general or the popular leadership speech, that's a very important speech as well. But the main idea was subordinating ourselves. It's like picking up the cross and following Christ and, and denying oneself is, is a way that His Majesty now speaking, not a parable, but, but, um, but speaking bluntly and speaking plainly and, and, and openly was disclosing to us both who He is and who we are as well as what time we're in. Now, Speaking of Rastafari, the Rastafari movement, in particular the Line of Judah Society, and the end time plan, well, this is it. In other words, this is part of the end time plan. But let's not um, make no mistake about it. When the Bible talks about the end times, it's talking about the end of the times of the Gentiles. But we, ourselves, the once lost but now found Beit Israel, and all true um, Christ man, Christian souls, of whatever race, ethnicity, or nationality, must recognize the need to prepare. You understand? To prepare. You understand? To prepare for this new age in which we are moving into. This is not the new age of so-called white supremacy or those who have run the old age. This is really their time. This is their end time. This is the end of their time. So when they're speaking about a new world order, what they're trying to do is characteristics of the, of, of the nature of the devil is to basically, it's, it's, it's to steal, it's, it's to kill, you, you understand, it's, it's, it's to do, do evil, basically, and to deceive and to steal and to kill. That's what their, basically, plan is, and they've been stealing your mind, you know, and, and when, so when you hear about New World Order, you're, you're fighting against the new world order and don't recognize that the true new world order 
is above and beyond these temporal rulers and what's going on down here in the mundane world. So if you look at the eye of the of the Illuminati, so-called eye, and the dollar bill, and, and Freemasonry, and the Rothschild, so-called Illuminati, all that's part of the old world. All of that's part of the so-called Gentile times, which the Almighty has said would come to a specified and a determined end. And that's where we're at right now. So our end time so-called quote plan is not for the end of I and I time or Rastafari time, but the end of the time of the Gentiles and the end of the so-called church age. Both of those are connected when you study Revelation. But here's the utterance. Here's an utterance of His Majesty that I would like to share with you all that encompasses both where we're at presently and where the society of His Majesty, the Lion Jew Society and the Rastafari movement is going between this time as 2011, let's say 2012 to 2020. Now, the reasons for 2020, people are looking at 2012, but what they have forgotten is the Ethiopic calendar and the original calendar and the whole Julian Gregorian calendar. Just one quick example is, is, is 2000, the year 2000. Everybody said this is going to happen, that's going to happen. Things happen mostly because people psychically and, and, and through their own um, dissipation cause these things, cause a lot of these things to happen. But then in 2001, we know about the Twin Towers thing. But the real, that real time of change, that real new world, you could say that really 2000 was 2008. And only the Ethiopic calendar preserves that root and that truth. So here, without any further ado, let us touch on His Majesty's um, utterance, one of his selected speeches and utterances here in this book here. First, let's, let's just get the, um, it was on uh, leader, leadership. It was on leadership because we have to learn both to lead as well as to follow. And in fact, we learn to lead by learning to follow. And not just following men and people and flesh, but following the teachings of his imperial majesty, following the good news of the King of Kings, of Ketamawi Haile Selassie. So this particular book, I don't know if you, you know of it, it it's... Um, a, a brother and one of one of the brothers incarcerated actually sent this to the society uh, a, a while ago, Brother Shahid. Um, and if you're out there, you know, give us a, a high up or salam to if you're if you're hopefully able to. But some of the brothers who were incarcerated sent this um, this small book published by um, Frontline Books, and this is the book that we are um, quoting from right here concerning. The Rastafari movement, the LOJ Lanju Society, and this end time, putting it into context. You understand? Let's remember the context of because there's some people out there who really think, who believe the the lies of the the pseudonymous Christians or the Antichrist out there. Like it's the end for everybody. No, it's the end of the Gentile time. This is what the Bible teaches. It's the end of the church, the so-called church age, and we're coming into the kingdom age, or the kingdom of the King of Kings and his Christ. Now, here it says, it says, uh, it, it, says it says much that is um, very instructive for us. Give me one particular moment. I was looking in which, which section of this. Put this down for a moment. Okay. Okay. No, actually, it was on work. It was on work. Because this is what we need to focus on as Rastafari. It was on work. And when we read this, understanding the times and the signs of the times, we said this is very important as we're going into 2012 for us to keep, to keep uh, our, not just gravity, but keep our equilibrium and a spiritual balance and keep that discipline of mind, both individually and corporately, churchically, Rastafari speaking, and collectively. It says here, there will be little festivity 
Let's understand this. There will be little festivis, festivity and few celebrations in these years, the years that we are embarking upon individually and collectively. Our task is now to prove ourselves worthy of the lot which we have claimed as our own, capable of employing our talents and resources in the cause of Africa and African peoples. The way will be perilous. Sacrifices will be demanded of us. Our labors may go unnoticed or unobserved, and our triumphs unnoticed except to ourselves, except to I and I selves. And in the ultimate sense, this is wholly or completely as it should be. For we are men, and this is man's lot. We are men, and this is the black man's lot. Let us work together, arm in arm as brothers, that our progeny may live in peace and well-being, that posterity will honor our names and our achievements. This will suffice. This will be our victory. May Almighty God grant it to us. May he grant it to I and I. Amen and amen. This word here, along with some other um, selected excerpts of the teaching of his imperial majesty, one should seek to, to, to meditate upon these. They're, they're, they're very extremely, extremely vital to us. And as we go into these, these, these years ahead, these, these very trying times, some say perhaps even the Great Tribulation, let us remember, according to the teaching of His Majesty, that ahead of us, ahead of I and I, lie the hard, the difficult years years when we must grapple with new sets of problems and face new hardships. Yet, with the teachings of His Majesty and with the spiritual power and that new birth and discipline of mind, I and I, step by step and guess by guess, we will make it. My brothers and sisters, may the God and the Father, Abba Kedus, Kedus Abba Tachin of our Black Lord and Savior, Gia Tachin Amit, Anitachin Jesus Christos, Adonenu Yehoshua HaMoshia, be with you all and mainly be within you all. Until next time, Shalom Rastafari.